farmers more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special figure showcase, we're going to look at the 1985 Series 2 Autobot Red Alert. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a quick look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. I'm going to show you all the accessories that come with him to help you know if yours is complete. I'm going to point out some things that you need to be aware of if you have to purchase one for yourself. And as I'm lucky enough to have two types of packaging, we can have a look at the artwork and the battle scenes on the back of that. Right, let's get started then. Let's start with the robot mode because it's an old toy, but it's still stunning. I absolutely love this figure. I just think it looks so, so good in every single aspect, in every meaning of the word, it still looks beautiful. If you wanna be looking for articulation, there's not too much we've got, I'd say, you could probably call it shoulder joint there, but of course this is mainly for transformation and the same you could say for maybe bicep. It's just a bit of movement there for the forearm to go up and down. And as you can see, the legs are completely fused and held together there. So you're not going to get any, you know, knee bend or ankle tilt, but it doesn't matter. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Things to be aware of. Uh, you can see here, actually, this is metal die cast and you can see where the paint's unfortunately chipped away a little bit there. There's chrome in the wheels, there's chrome on the toes, and of course there's chrome on the forearms. That is something to be aware of. Again, it started to just fade away ever so slightly there. The wheels are actually made of rubber, so that's something to be aware of because they can unfortunately perish and literally just near enough disintegrate, unfortunately. And the other problem that you'll find with this quite a lot is the fact that these back, the back roof and the doors can literally... They, they're the ones that get broken the most, unfortunately, during playtime. Uh, but you can just about get away with that in robot mode. I've had ones in the past as I was building up my collection. Um, yeah, just literally with no back at all. But you couldn't tell when he was like this. So another quick thing I suppose to be aware of is the stickers. If it's missing the stickers, it's not too bad. You really do need this one on the front, though. Um, but quite a few things to be aware of. I think it's just because it's such an old toy. Let's have a look at the accessories that come with him before we do the um alternate mode right there's his gun that's what he comes with biggest thing to be aware of is this dowel here because without that it obviously isn't going to be able to hold in his hand now the rocket launcher again this is quite easily damaged and that's because it's got this clip there so this gets easily damaged easily stressed um it fires just ever so little and funnily enough there's a bit of sun fade there sun fades the biggest I suppose ruin it if that's an actual word for this particular figure um and you came he came with three of these bullets and these did come on a sprue as well if you're lucky enough to have them yeah sun fade in all honesty is is the biggest negative or i suppose downfall of this particular figure and i've got a really good example of how it can look so bad unfortunately which i'm going to show you in a second so before we look at the alternate mode Here's the instruction booklet. So because it's 1985, it's black and white, but you've got the red because it's Autobots. So we'll fold this out. There you can see the missiles that would be on a sprue. Um, and then we've got the transformation process as well, which I won't bother showing you because we've got him in his alternate mode. Right, so the alternate mode again is probably another reason why this figure is so stunning. It is, of course, the Lamborghini Countach. And you've got to be, maybe it's Beverly Hills if, because they can obviously afford um, Lamborghini Countach's for fire cars. Who knows? But things to be aware of with this, as I said, this is die cast. So you're looking out for it to be nice and white. No chipping. Oh, I've got one there as well. I didn't even see. Same principle with the wheels and the chrome there. The spoiler can actually come off as well. That is something to be aware of. Uh, it does detach. And sometimes you'll find... That these are missing as well the siren lights there's another big chip there i can show you um stickers again they make all the difference but you know it's a great great alternate mode it will move back and forward you can rally it around if you do so choose to right so here we go this is brilliant and and terribly flawed all at the same time so this is a completely sealed stored away italian gig version totally sealed on both sides and ironically enough look the box is stunning but you can still see even if you keep your figures and lock them up and keep them safe that look how yellow that's gone that's what the plastic can do 
and it's not to do with the sun sometimes it's to do with the chemicals in the plastic and that's why it's changed color for me unfortunately for those of you who are unfamiliar with gig gig is the italian company that made transformers in italy licensed by takara and you can see there they call it transform as well so it's not a spelling mistake it's how they were sold in italy and they also changed the names this one they didn't really alter too much you can see it's just called alert and the rest of the language is in italy i'm not going to hold that box much longer i'm going to just quickly show you everything else that i wanted to on this standard hasbro box so there's his normal name there's the beautiful artwork for red alert that's the transformation process very simple pull the doors open fold down the bonnet pull the legs apart but if we look at the back we've got this amazing again battle scene the 1985 battle scene with the illustrious red tracks Dinobots, Insecticons, Shockwave and Jetfire. Lovely piece of artwork. And there is the tech specs. So, yeah, stunning, stunning figure. As I say, 1985, originally released as part of the Transformers wave of figures, shall we say. Obviously, it was released before that as part of the Diaclone range of toys. But stunning, stunning all the same. We're looking forward to his other new release that's coming out soon. So this is another reason why I've been asked to show you this, you guys. So... I hope you enjoyed looking at it. If you were lucky enough to have it as a child, hope it brought back some nice memories. Uh, keep your comments and suggestions coming in. And of course, please take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.